All right, show of hands for anybody who has ever worked inside of Pro Tools and wished that there was a simpler way to do something or that you could have a bunch of functions take place all at once with maybe one key command or you wanted the ability to access something that wasn't available for a custom keyboard shortcut or maybe you're the type of person who doesn't like to memorize a bunch of keyboard shortcuts and you wish that you just had the ability to click a button and do things for you. So that's where Soundflow comes in and has been helping users for years now. I've been a Soundflow user for many years and it is a hugely important part of my workflow. So I am super excited today to get to help walk you through some of the brand new functionality inside of Soundflow and to figure out what's next on the journey for them and how it's going to impact all of us as users inside of Pro Tools. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Matt Yoakum and welcome to My Sound. Firstly, just starting off with a huge thank you to Soundflow for sponsoring this video. And while this is a sponsored video, I would not be doing this if this was not a set of tools that I genuinely believed in. And it also is just super helpful that everybody I've ever met from Soundflow are also genuinely wonderful people. So we have the best of both worlds of really nice people and incredibly useful and deep software. So to the big news, Soundflow and Avid have now partnered and Soundflow is now directly integrated into Pro Tools. This is huge. And if you stick around and watch this video, I'm going to explain and walk you through the new integration and show you just how powerful this is going to be. So one of the best parts of this is that Soundflow is now going to be co-installed along with Pro Tools. When you install the new 25.10 Pro Tools software, Soundflow is automatically going to come with it. So if you're already a Soundflow user, it'll already be there for you. But if you are new to Soundflow or if you've been wondering about trying it, it's going to be installed for you. And keeping with their tradition of reducing friction in the process, it's going to take that out of the equation, which is awesome. This means that every user of Pro Tools is now going to have direct access to the wonderful tools that Soundflow has with over 1700 commands and the ability to make your session workflows go even more smoothly than before. So to give just a little bit of the nerd talk, basically the way that Soundflow used to work was through Mac OS, through the actual OS itself. It was doing everything on the surface level of the OS, which although it was working and it was pretty cool, it was not super efficient and it was certainly prone to mistakes. And there was just lots of limitations through working that way. One of the most important of which was that you could not use it as a Windows user. Soundflow has now created their own software integration, which they are calling SFX. This means that Soundflow is built directly inside of the code of Pro Tools and can operate inside of Pro Tools, meaning a few things. One, it's gonna be way more efficient. Two, it's gonna be way more accurate. And three, and this is huge, it is now available for all Windows users. It is cross-platform for the first time, and this is going to open this up to a whole new audience. So I think the best way is to actually just show you how this is now integrated into Pro Tools 25.10. So let's dive in and take a look at the new Soundflow functionality inside of Pro Tools. Okay, so. Here we are, we're inside of Pro Tools as we normally would be. And I'm going to open up what would normally be the clips list window. And we'll notice now that there are tabs up at the top. And there are two new functions that Soundflow is now bringing. I'm gonna start by opening the actual Soundflow window itself. And immediately you're gonna be met with this screen here, which asks you to do one of two things. You can either sign in with Avid or sign in with Soundflow. Again, Soundflow's whole goal is to help reduce friction in the process here, and they've continued that same theme here. If you have never used Soundflow before, and if you've never had an account, you can sign in with Avid, and it will automatically make you an account using the information that you have logged into Avid. Or you can sign in with Soundflow, and if you haven't had an account before, you can make one. If you're an existing user, you can simply sign in. So I'm gonna sign in here. It's gonna open up this browser window for you, and then you can go ahead and just log in, which I'm gonna do now. Okay, so once you're logged in, this is what your screen's gonna look like. This is the all new Soundflow panel. And one of the first things that you're gonna notice is up here at the top, 
This is the official Pro Tools deck. Regardless of whether or not you have a Stream Deck, you will now have Stream Deck capabilities at your fingertips inside of Pro Tools. This is super nice because maybe you don't have a Stream Deck, or maybe you go to a new studio where you didn't get to bring it with you, or whatever the situation is, you've now got access to it right here in Pro Tools. Now, every single user, even if you're a free user, will have access to this functionality, which allows you to do things within editorial, within mixing and automation, or opening and closing windows. It just gives you a lot of great functionality. Maybe you're even the type of person where you don't like memorizing keyboard shortcuts, or maybe that just doesn't work for you. What's nice is that these have been really thoughtfully curated. They've got all the icons here, and it makes it just very easy to find what you're looking for if that's how you prefer to navigate. One other cool thing here is that I can pop out this window by clicking this icon here at the top. And now you've essentially got a floating stream deck, so you can put this anywhere on your screen and access it that way. So that's super cool. I'm gonna attach it back to the edit window now. And if you are a pro level user, which I'm gonna get into in just a bit, you can load your own decks here. So any deck that you've got will be able to be loaded into the sidebar here, and that is really welcome functionality. Now down here, we've got the search bar. This allows you to search for any of the custom commands that come default with Soundflow. There's over 1,700 of them. So for example, if I wanted to find the command for render current audio suite, I could type that in and here it is. So if I click this, it will now perform that function. It will execute it for you. And you can do that with just about anything that you can think of. This alone is gonna help reduce a lot of friction in terms of having to dive through menus and look through things. You can just type what you're looking for and click on it and it'll be done for you. Next here, I'm just gonna do a brief overview of these. These are what Soundflow are calling flows. So these are some of the apps that have been built inside of Soundflow for Pro Tools and are simpler than ever to use inside of your sessions. Now, just so you know, these flows are going to require higher level subscriptions in Soundflow in order to use them. And to explain a little bit, Soundflow now has three new tiers of subscriptions. For the existing pro users who have already been subscribing to Soundflow, you can just continue your subscription and it's gonna be called Soundflow Pro. This gives you the ability to create custom stream decks, to create your own custom macros and workflows, and to do coding, however deep you wanna get into it, you can continue to do that inside of your Soundflow Pro subscription. Then they're adding the Soundflow AI subscription. Soundflow AI will allow you to access some of the functionality that I'm gonna show here that uses AI and machine learning to help execute some of the functions. The session assistant, which I'm getting ready to show you next, is one of the examples of Soundflow AI in use. And then lastly, for those pro users who wanna continue using their macros and stream decks, but also add on that AI functionality, then there will be Soundflow Pro AI, which will give you access to everything inside of Soundflow to help streamline your workflows. So just starting from the top here, there's the new session assistant, which is exactly what it sounds like, built straight into Pro Tools. It is an LLM or ChatGPT style assistant where you can type your commands or speak to it via this microphone and have it execute different functions inside of Pro Tools. So for example, I've got some tracks over here that are called FX M1 through M8. And let's say I just wanna rename those. Let's do rename tracks FX M1 through eight to DX M1 through eight. Let's have that execute. It's renaming. And there they go. It renamed it in the session. Next, we have a flow called select the best mic. This uses AI and machine learning to look through your mic assemblies, your mic choices, whether you've got like, let's say mix tracks and a boom and some lavs stacked on your timeline. It will look through them and actually analyze the audio and determine which is the cleanest take of each one. It will make those mic selects for you and then it will mute the clips that it doesn't think belong so that you still have access to them and you can just toggle them back on and off if you feel like you need to dig in for an option. So that's a huge time saver for dialogue editors working on doing mic selects. Then there's the Ships Bounce Factory, which is mostly aimed at music people, but automates and helps create different stems and submixes and bounces of your sessions to be able to deliver them quickly and efficiently. Next, we have the Stream Deck setup, which when you're a pro level user, you can click on that and it will open up the Soundflow app and take you directly to the deck editing part of the software. 
and it will allow you to bring in your own decks and to show them and display them inside of Pro Tools to replace this official Pro Tools deck if you so desire. Then we have Upload to Cloud, which has some cool functionality. It basically allows you to bounce a mix and then you can connect it to either your Dropbox, your Frame.io, or your Sampley. And it will actually upload it directly to it to allow you to grab a link quickly to send directly to your client. And last but not least, we have the Cloud Marker Importer. This will allow you to connect either your Sampley or your Frame.io account and to import markers directly from those sessions. Okay, and the last thing I wanna look at here is this Learn tab. So if you're relatively new to Pro Tools, this is a great resource for learning how to perform different functions inside of it. There are different tutorials here that Soundflow has set up and it is using the new SFX software integration to make these super interactive and easy to navigate. So let's say, for example, I wanna learn more about editing audio. I can click on this. It's going to ask me if I wanna continue, I hit okay. And it wants to open up a new tutorial session. So I'm gonna save my existing work. It's gonna to start to load that session now. Okay, so it has opened up this new session here. And you'll see it is going to highlight up here the smart tool and I'm going to click next and it will actually track as I resize the window in order to fit it into my screen recording here. So it's going to teach me about grid mode, slip mode, and I can click through this tutorial and it's going to teach me everything I need to know with relation to sound editing. I can quit this tutorial at any time and then let's go back over here to the learn tab again and you'll see that there are a variety of subjects. So how to work with MIDI, how to record audio, the basic functions of getting started in Pro Tools for the first time. So this is going to help streamline things for new users and make it much more accessible and easy to learn. So that's a brief overview of what's new with the new partnership between Soundflow and Avid, with Soundflow integrated directly into Pro Tools for all the new users of Pro Tools 25.10. I'm super excited for the new opportunities for new workflows that this is going to open up. And I think everybody who uses Soundflow is going to benefit from it. So if you haven't before, be sure to go check out the Soundflow's website to look at the different subscription tiers that they have available. I think they are absolutely worth it. Thank you again to Soundflow for helping to bring this video to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.